And we begin at 6 o'clock with final rulings before Tulsa police officer Betty Shelby's manslaughter trial begins in five days. The judge and attorneys hammered out some last-minute details today. News on 6 crime reporter Lori Fulbright was on the story in court. They plan to call 70 potential jurors who will all fill out a questionnaire agreed to by both sides. After that, some of the jurors will be questioned, and of course, one of the big issues will be pretrial publicity. Attorneys don't have to choose jurors who have never heard of the case against Betty Shelby. They just need jurors who can promise to put aside anything they have heard and decide the case only on what they hear in court. There are things you might hear on the outside that a jury is never going to hear because they're just flat out inadmissible. So uh, I, I encourage people to not make their decisions based upon what somebody might print or write or say. Uh, their decision ought to be based upon listening to what is legally admissible in a courtroom. The judge ruled the DA can show the jury videotape not only of Terrence Crutcher being shot and killed, but also lying on the ground afterward with no one coming to his aid. Shelby's attorney says Shelby offered to help him. She said, I'm an EMT and I, I need to go help. And uh, it was advised to her that she should stand, stand back as just not being appropriate probably since she was the officer involved in the shooting. She says a doctor will testify that giving first aid would not have saved Crutcher because he died instantly. The judge also ruled Shelby's lawyers can use a life-size replica of the door to Crutcher's vehicle in court. Prosecutors had argued that pictures would have been enough. The judge reminded the attorneys that Betty Shelby is on trial, not the Tulsa Police Department. He told them to bring their A-game to court next week because he says ultimately a jury is going to decide this case. On the scene on the story in Tulsa, Lori Fulbright, News on 6.